How do you stop weeds in sorghum? Here's the best news of the day. There are so many more options than there used to be. I just remember growing up and we talked to sorghum producers and they'd say, well, I have to treat my seed and then I can use dual and otherwise I can spray 2,4-D, Banville, Atrazine. That's all I've got. I don't have a lot of choices. Today, there are more choices, but those products that we used 30 years ago are actually still in play today, and in a lot of cases, they're tremendously effective. Sorghum and corn aren't tremendously dissimilar, so a lot of the same options that you could use right. in corn, you may be able to use in sorghum. One of the challenges, though, thinking back to pre-Roundup Ready corn days was grass control. If we didn't do a great job pre, we really had a tough time post-emerge trying to get it under control and it was expensive as well. So for me, it all starts with a good foundation program. You've got to get that seed concept treated. That gives you the option of using something like Dual or Outlook pre-emerge where you can use a good strong rate of those products, try and take care of most of your annual grasses, especially the foxtail species. You wipe them out and some of the small seeded broadleaves and post-emerge then hopefully we're just looking at controlling broadleaves because we do have a lot of broadleaf options. Here's the thing though, coming back to the grass, because that is the number one issue in sorghum. A lot of people will say, well, I'm in a dry area. I can't afford to put a full rate of a pre-emerge herbicide on. Look, this is the one thing that our dad told us growing up. He was a farmer in Iowa and he moved to South Dakota farming with significantly less rainfall. And he said, here's the thing, boys. When I was in Iowa, I learned that rain corrected my mistakes. The less rain that I have, the fewer mistakes I can make. And if you have any grass coming up, that's an enormous mistake. We just can't have grass at all in corn, in sorghum, in wheat, in any of those grass crops. It robs so much yield so quickly, that's devastating. So our number one piece of advice to you, and I know it's hard to invest five extra dollars, but you gotta do it in the case of sorghum or corn. Put that money out. Get the grass under control right up front and yes we've got paramount as a post-emerge option now and that's fine but paramount costs a fair amount of money i'd rather spend five more dollars pre than have to come with a much more expensive option post so please put a full rate of a grass killer out pre you'll be happy that you did well the other thing not only does that grass rob yield it takes up nutrients and it takes up a lot of moisture and if you're in a situation where you don't have enough moisture the way i look at it is you barely have enough moisture for your sorghum Right. You don't have any extra moisture to give to weeds. And you can say, well, I'll fry those weeds off later. Yes, but they took that moisture up and it's gone. So don't let that happen to you. You got to conserve moisture. Now, when it comes to broadleaves, we've got a lot of different options. And there are some that have a little bit of residual control. There are some that are strictly contact activity. And it depends on what you're going to rotate to. You could pick something like buck troll, for example, if the weed spectrum is right for you. Let's say you have cockleburs, sunflowers, lamb's quarters, those kinds of weeds. Buck troll can do a nice job for you. Yeah, but what else are you going to do other than no residual products? You've got band you've got buckturl, and that's about it. The new option that you do have that gives you some residual is Husky. And Husky is a combination of buckturl and another product in HPPD that's similar to Callisto. So in the past, Callisto has been labeled like in Lumax, for example, pre-emerge. And you can still use Callisto today pre-emerge. So if you want to do that pre, you can. And in many cases, I would say, hey, maybe consider throwing a little bit of Callisto out pre, then you could just come back with Buckturl or Banvel post-emerge. But anyway, now we do have that Husky option. So to Darren's point, yeah, I mean, you've still got the old choices out there. You can go Buckturl or Banvel, throw in some atrazine, that'll work pretty well for you, but you gotta be a little bit careful with the atrazine and then that new option Husky if you're gonna rotate to certain crops. All right, the point today that we're making is there are a lot of different options yep. for weed control and sorghum. So don't just say, well, I've grown sorghum for the last 20 years, here's what I use. No, take a look because there are a number of products that have gotten labeled over the last few years now that weren't before, and they're really good options. They're improvements over some of the things that we had. Sure, the old standbys of using something like Dual for Pre and using something like a Dicamba or a Buckturl, they're good options still, but there are a number of different products that can supplement your program and help you make more money and more yield. Well, one of the weeds that you're not going to be able to control very easily in your sorghum crop is our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you what you can use on your farm coming up later in the show.